Resembling Apple co-founder Steve Jobs physically wasn't so hard for actor Ashton Kutcher, but capturing Jobs' difficult personality as a quirky genius proved a little bit trickier. Don Steinberg, one of our entertainment reporters, he spoke with Kutcher recently and joins us right now. Don, thanks for being here. You're in Philly today. Philadelphia, right? Yeah, here I am. So you talked to Ashton about this. What did he say was, you know, he looks enough. I mean, he could make himself look enough like Jobs. But how did he get his mannerisms and his personality down for this? What did he do to study him? Sure. You know, well, Steve Jobs is a contemporary. So he had the opportunity to, there's plenty of video of Steve presenting things as a young man and also in his more recent years. There's, he studied like 20 hours of audio to get the speech patterns and, and then there's people, he talked to people who, he never met Steve and he never met Steve Wozniak either but he talked to other people who knew Steve Jobs and I guess it's a double-edged sword. You, you get s some great source material but then you know, you're portraying somebody that, that people actually kn knew. It's not like trying to be Abraham Lincoln where, you know, you got people won't say, you know, he didn't say that, you know. And yeah. the, the script portrays Jobs as, you know, sort of at times petulant and inconsiderate and, and even, even manipulative. How did Ashton say to you that he wrapped his arms around that? You know, he really seems to admire Steve Jobs. And, and the movie, I think the movie presented... A, a, a Steve Jobs who was very difficult and immature um, and, and maybe um, more so than even Ashton was willing to admit and, and he seemed to think that um, he's um, portrayed this, this, this heroic great guy but he really did a good job of putting across this guy who's beloved and yet at the same time very immature, mean at times and selfish. Being an entrepreneur, though, is sort of nothing new to, to Kucher. I mean, his, did you talk to him a little bit about his own ventures and the types of things he's investing in right now, Don? Yeah, he seemed just as excited talking about that stuff as about the uh, the movie. And, you know, I was thinking, no, he does look like Steve Jobs, and he kind of has great experience playing a guy from the 70s. Uh, but he also has this great, um, you know, he's a high-tech guy. I mean, he was one of the first big Twitter guys, right? He got a million followers first. And then he's, he's, he has his own um, um, equity fund, and he invests in all kinds of startups, so he's always talking to entrepreneurs about high-tech stuff. And what was he, how was it to speak to him? What was he like? Um, I think that he, he's, he, um, you know, every, like every actor on a, on a tour talking about movies, he was talking about the same kind of things that, um, um, that, uh, that he said over and over again about, about Steve. Um, I think that he, uh, I think that he uh, has a... a uh, high regard for um, um, his uh, his place in the high tech right. world, just like Steve d d did. So I, I think that helps. So that part probably wasn't so much of a stretch. All right, Don <laughs> right. Steinberg, you can read the interview in full in the arena section tomorrow. Thanks, Don. Thank you.